Good morning, everyone. Oh my gosh, this little vignette behind me is making me so happy. Um, I have just woken up and I actually haven't just woken up, that's such a lie. I've been up for ages and I went for a walk around the garden and I've made myself a coffee and um, that's been my morning so far. I'm heading down to London today. I have a meeting and then I am having my hair cut by Michael Van Clark. I needed a trim. And I said to you that I was going to be getting my hair trimmed more kind of regularly. And they've invited me down to sort of experience the salon, meet Michael himself, I believe, and um, experience what they do there, which I'm really excited about. Although it's really funny, my hair actually is in such good condition. But what I want to speak to him about is like my cut. Because if you remember, I had quite a lot cut off of one side when I went and saw Ruby before because it was all straggly. So I don't necessarily have like an even cut at the moment. We basically took an executive decision to do what we could with what was left. And so now I want to see if he's got any sort of like thoughts about me, like having anything like layers cut in. I don't want too many layers because I like quite a heavy blunt um, haircut. But yeah, it's gonna be very, very exciting to have that done. Just have a little bit of a refresh. I'm kind of having all of my beauty treatments done at the moment. Um, I have had a fresh set of nails by Alex. This is Gilded Sage, um, two coats of Gilded Sage with, um, it's like a pearlescent color over the top. It's a new one and um, it just gives it this like pearly look, which I really, really liked. I'm also about to use my Kenzie because this is fading so fast. I don't even know if you can properly like see where it is, but it's fading so fast. So I thought I'd crack on with that today as well. I'll link Kenzie in the description box down below. Um, if I've still got, if my discount code is still live, I will put that with it as well. But just some beauty treatments because obviously I'm traveling a lot at the moment and want to look my best. I also should be having some shopping that I've ordered arriving today. Hopefully I can unbox that with you as well. Um, and I want to try and see if Oscar de la Renta has the other dress that I bought, I bought from them, the pink one with the tulips on. Um, they said it was gonna be back by today, but they, I've not heard from them. So uh, I might try and call them up and see if we can go down there um, at some point during the day. But anyway, I'm gonna, oh, I might sneeze. No, maybe not. Um, I'm gonna crack on and uh, fire her up and do my little skin rejuvenation. There we go. We can turn you up. And voila, that is done for the week. I just kind of let my skin um, cool down and do its thing before I get ready for the day. Um, I'm obviously not doing my um, laser hair because I've done um, fake tan on my body. I've not actually put any fake tan on my face, but I have on my body. So um, yes, not doing that today. Okay, outfit of the day is uh, my shirt dress company shirt dress. Um, and it's really annoying because I have a dress in my next Karen Miller collection, which is perfect for this um, jacket, but I do still think this goes really, really nicely. Um, I've got my Emmy London Lulu flats on, which are beautiful. Bag is Tan Hermes. Fragrance is Tier from Shantakai. And I'm going to pack up my bag and head down to London. Perfecto. So this is Dolly, and this has been the best meeting ever because I've got to have Dolly on my lap. Obviously, the company is exceptional anyway, but Dolly is just the cherry on the cake. Oh my gosh, how many months old is she? Five. <gasps> Little popsicle. I'm definitely going to be bugging Ali when I get home because you are just too much. Like a little hot water bottle. Oh. You're going to be famous. Look, I'm going to make Porter and Barkley so yeah. jealous. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at you. <laughs> Little kisses. You are so... Oh, bless you. Bless you. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Oh. You've just woken up from a little nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, what are you doing, mommy? What are you doing? Oh, so cute. Mommy, let me come see you. Sorry, that might seem like a very abrupt 
a start to my meetings today, but we've just come to Chilton Firehouse for our first meeting of the day and puppy cuddles all the time. But we're heading off now. I need to pick up my dress from Oscar de la Renta and then head to Michael Van Gogh. And that is the toilet flushing. <laughs> Welcome to quite possibly the most beautiful salon in the whole of London. Look at these iron railings. Oh my goodness, the olive trees, the door. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Now, you know full well that I would recite this entire menu if I was given the opportunity, but you always know you're somewhere very, very special when they have a menu for you as soon as you walk in. And I've got water, all of the beautiful candles. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a big, big gardener. I'm actually really sad at the moment because I'm about to travel and I planted tulips this year and they're 100% going to bloom whilst I'm away. And it's like you wait all this time. It's one of those things that I think a lot of people got into out of lockdown. And um, it's just, I, I actually bought myself a, a greenhouse, I think four years ago now. And um, when we came out of lockdown, I thought, oh my gosh, I've bought this greenhouse. Am I actually going to use it out of lockdown? And I, like, I literally go in there every weekend. It's like my happy place. It's just wonderful. It's so funny though, because my, my entire family are just like, no, Lydia, I don't believe you did all this. I don't believe it. I'm like, well, hey, and do you cut fully dry? Oh wow! Wow, my gosh, that's so different, isn't it? I'll go get Michael and I'll let him have a look at the right time. Perfect, thank you so much. That's okay. Yeah, I, think, I mean, what we've done today, yeah. I would have done a fraction more, except it'll make it too short. Right. Yeah, I think I've, more than anything, I'm just trying to like preserve the, yeah. the condition, but so, now I'm like, I want to preserve this. <laughs> yeah, so actually how different it looks it looks so healthy yeah. and feels it's so weird like you you cut so much and yet it feels yeah. like it doesn't feel shorter no, or, or, no, look, not at or, all. Look, or look shorter no so, it's phenomenal yeah. amazing oh my gosh thank you so much i feel like you've just started a very 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 wonderful obsession good because I'm usually very, very nervous with having my hair cut. I don't blame you. Now, this is just unreal. Absolutely unreal. Thank you so no, much. No, absolute pleasure. Wow. Hello, mommy. I cheated on you with another sausage dog. Somebody can smell Dolly on me. Oh my goodness me, you jealous boys. You jealous boys. Ow. You are hurting me because you can smell a girl. That is awful. Absolutely awful. Get off. Get off. You little truffle snufflers. You little truffle snufflers. Where's daddy? Right, I've got home and I've had to put on my dressing gown. My goodness, was it... Oh, there you are. <laughs> it was so deceptively cold in London today. I have been freezing all day. It's been beautiful sunshine and yet freezing. So I've come home, put on my Soho house dressing gown, but I can see that, I can see that Mr. Millen Gordon has been very busy in the garden and he has put up the new lights in the light well. As you can see, this area has been painted. We've still got a few bits of uh, Ken's left over, but we've gone for the same sage green as the greenhouse and painted the walls out here and the lights look amazing. Don't they look amazing, babe? Wow, wow, wow. I have so much to, to show you. I've got so much like product, but my goodness, my hair feels incredible. It's probably not gonna be a huge like noticeable difference, despite the fact that he cut so much off my hair. Like, oh, 
Anyway, we'll chat, we'll chat. I'm gonna go say hi to my husband. I actually just can't believe how my hair feels, so I'm sorry if I keep touching it, but honestly, it just feels like my hair is now like back to full health. It's unreal, I just mustn't get emotional, mustn't get emotional. But I thought I would sit with you in my dressing room and show you what I got from Michael Van Clark and give you my full review. First and foremost, I have never in my life been to a salon as beautiful as that. And I was just talking to a friend on the phone and I said to her, I was like, a lot of the time you go to salons and they feel quite trendy. Like there's a lot of people with like, you know, really trendy hair colors and like things like that. And I often feel almost a little bit unnerved because my, I'm like such a classic lover that I'm like, are they gonna get my style, etc., etc. You walk into Michael Van Clark and it is like walking into the most beautiful old like hotel, restaurant, whatever in London. It is exceptional, okay? And then he cuts your hair. And I would say this is going to be a very, very expensive change in, in me getting my hair done now because I've never, ever, ever had my hair cut like that in my life. And it is bizarre. Like, honestly, it's bizarre. It, he was cutting and I was, I was quite nervous. I'm a nervous person when I get my hair done, understandably. And he was taking off quite a lot of hair and I was like, oh my goodness. And the thing with me is that I like, I like my hair to feel quite heavy. I like it to feel thick. I don't want to lose the thickness in my hair. Um, I don't want to lose the volume. And he was like cutting and shaping and he's taken a lot of shape around the front and all of like that. When I tell you that my hair, it looks, it feels, it moves. He was like, you were just almost kind of like overwhelmed by it. Sorry, I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder as well. He's like, I wanted to kind of open you up a little bit and like just show you a little bit more. I am so for it. So now basically I'm on under strict orders to grow my hair back, not grow it back, but like continue to grow it. So all of my like vitamins and hair bursts and things like that, I'll continue taking. Um, and then we're gonna keep continuing this cut on my hair so that I get it back to the length that I'm used to. I love this length, but I do want it just a little bit longer. And my goodness me, it is, oh, I'm just on the best journey ever. Like I feel like I'm like finding my my joy again in my hair. So I'm so sorry that I'm I'm cutting it. He also used a number of products, and um, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about them. I'll tell you the ones that I'm most intrigued by because those I think are going to absolutely change. Well, I've got three that I'm hugely hugely intrigued by. I've got a whole bag of things, but I don't want to overwhelm you. First and foremost, the brush. So this is the number one brush. Now I have been a loyal wet brush user for many, many years. I've never worked with them, so um, but I have always stayed uh, loyal to their Wet Brush Pro. Um, and I am very, very, very intrigued by this brush. So this is not a styling brush. This is basically for detangling. For me, I'm very, very particular about brushes that I use on my hair, nothing too hard, too coarse, anything like that and um, this is detangles and styles all hair types wet or dry including extensions um, five star reviews my favorite brush ever lots of different things lots of different uh reviews so i haven't tried this i think they probably used used on my hair today i haven't tried this so i will keep you updated and this is something that i'm very excited to update you on but i am super excited in fact i'm just gonna get it out and give it a whirl just give it a try whilst you're here Ooh. When you feel it in your hand, you think it's gonna be harder on your hair than it is. And in actual fact, because it's got this really sturdy brush, I'm not used to the sturdy like handle, but that is just gliding through my hair. And it just breaks everything up. My goodness me, and I had the lovely Millie do my, uh, wash and blow dry and she was just wonderful everyone there was just wonderful so that's the first product i'm very very interested in the second one is their lifesaver pre-wash treatment with cashmere protein for all hair types and this is their three more inches range uh healthcare for healthcare for hair um naturally rebuilds every strand for longer stronger healthy glossy hair and it's silicone free as well. He basically showed me, I'm gonna put some lip balm on because there's nothing worse than me talking to you when I'm licking my lips all the time. I absolutely hate that. There we go, that will do. Um, 
Yes, so this is a um, pre-wash treatment. So you put this in before you're washing your hair, obviously. You can do this in, like the, the recommendation is for an hour. Um, I did check, you can sleep with it in. So I am 110% gonna be trying this. It comes in a like sleep fragrance as well, but this is the original. So I'm gonna be putting this to the test. Um, some of the reviews, I think it might have been on this one, but he was showing me all of the um, like befores and afters of people that have used these products. So it's almost like a curl definer, but also like um, a, a health builder, um, a treatment, those kinds of things all rolled into one. And it was showed like a lot of like puffiness to people's hair and then they would have used the, the treatment and it like defines their curls, brings back their natural curls. It was just fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Um, I love it when products can show you the difference instantly. That for me is always really beneficial. And letting you know what I think, I've got the whole range. He was so, so kind. Honestly, I felt so spoiled and looked after. They were so wonderful and I just, I'm over, over the moon. It's like I've had my color done. Everything just looks so shiny and healthy. Oh, I am just in love. And he is so lovely as well. Really, really just like, I love it when you can trust someone to do what's best for like your face shape. I think that that's such a, that's a real talent when it comes to hairdressing. I am just on cloud nine. I, am, I don't think I'll ever have my hair cut anywhere else now. That is a, a just an experience of pure luxury. Everything is so classic, so beautiful. You can have your nails done, you can have your eyebrows done, you can have everything done. There's smoothies, there's food, there's, oh, Seertrudon candles are everywhere. There was blossom. It was honestly one of my favorite experiences to date. I loved every moment of it. So thank you so much to the Michael Van Clark team. But I have a whole load of things to the left of me that I thought that I would unbox with you super quickly. I've made a Louise Via Roma order. Um, I picked up an Oscar de la Renta piece that I bought. My suitcases are out because we're about to travel somewhere. Um, I've got Emmy London. I've got Netta Porte. So, okay. <laughs> We've got some stuff to open. So let's get into it. The Louise Viaroma box. I have not ordered from Louise Viaroma for quite a while. And this dress just piqued my interest. I really hope that it is as beautiful. Oh my gosh. No, Lumi. You are a blooming nightmare. <gasps> You're the most unagile cat ever in the box. This is, I believe, my first ever piece from Elisa. Ooh, it's more green than I imagined. I love it. I love the length. <gasps> okay, this is definitely gonna be one that I have to try on quickly. It looks teeny tiny. Hope it fits. The skirt on this, so what stole my heart was this, the way this um, embroidery like trailed down the dress. So this is all like flowers and butterflies and it's just incredible. And then the back, this is always what I find is like really flattering on me is this kind of open back style with a halter neck. I personally find that these are the dresses that I tend to like get the most wear out of, out of and they don't date in my wardrobe. So, yes, I am addicted. I'm not gonna lie, I'm addicted to buying beautiful dresses, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> so I'm gonna try that on. So the dress is quite possibly the most beautiful. The only issue I'm having is the zip is so stiff at the back, like just where the seam is down here, it's super stiff. And I've just tried to get Ali to do it up and he can't. So it may just need a little bit of like working and lubricating, but the dress is super long, like to the floor. I think I would wear this so much that back, other than the fact that it's not closing properly, is beautiful. Let's get these open. So these are the Emmy London um, kitten heel, kitten heel version of my Lulu pumps, which I am fully 
obsessed with, and I ordered these myself. I used the 10% on their website, but I would go as far as saying that so far these are the best pointed flats that I've had. They're lasting so much better because my Ralph Lauren ones, sadly, like they just puckered and creased so quickly. I love the boxes as well. Emmy London are really kind of known for their bridal shoes, um, but their ready to wear shoes are just something else. Same beautiful tan and the wonderful thing about Emmy London is they can customise your shoes so if you want to have you know a very specific colour they can do it for you and I just think that's fantastic. So we're actually I'm looking at developing the leather version of the Lulu pumps in the same colour. Oh, wow these are so comfortable. Oh I actually think that these might get worn more than the Lulu ones. And I love that they're a British brand. That just makes me so, so happy. But a definite yes from me on these. I'm really hoping that in winter they will be bringing back, back the Black Watch versions of the Lulus as well. I hope they'll do them in the, in the Josie because um, I missed out on them last year and I was very sad about that. Gorgeous. I love them. <gasps> oh, yay. So happy. Is an order from Netta Porte. I love that I've just left my shoes everywhere as well. <laughs> um, the, this is, I believe, a swimsuit and a jumper, but I got the jumper in two sizes just to make sure that it was, that it fit, I think. I could be completely making that up, but you know. Yes two sizes so I fell in love with this sporty and rich country club jumper which I just loved the emblem on the back it looks like a sort of like an old school country club which I love so this is the extra small so I think I'll probably send back the small because I got the small as well and I was worried that it would be uncomfortable but this is actually perfect size I got myself a swimsuit which I have had in my basket for a while this is from uh, I believe Norma Kamali, and this is a plain green bandeau swimsuit. Oh, it looks higher on the leg than it did on the website. This is the thing that I'm really struggling with at the moment. I don't like really high legs, and that looks like it's gonna be super high leg, but I'll try it on and see what I think. But I love the color, obviously. Great. I can see why this has stayed in stock, that's for sure. I'm just going to say that it actually doesn't come up as high as I thought it was going to, but basically um, it's not, I'd say it's not fit for purpose um, because it's got this sticky thing here at the top so that it holds up. However, it's sewn to another piece of material, so it literally is just falling forward constantly. Like, no matter, excuse my smuggling peanuts, but we all... Most of us have nipples anyway. Yeah, this is like the moment that you move, it's just folding over. So a beautiful swimsuit. So a beautiful, don't worry, I've got it on with um, my knickers still, but a beautiful swimsuit for the color and the, the fit. But unfortunately that's completely like, I don't know if they've just not tested that out or what. And finally we picked up my other dress from Oscar de la Renta. Uh, sadly, they were not able to get me the other dress which made me really, really sad, but hopefully I'll be able to get another one in the future. This one, I had to order it from America, and this is a beautiful pink tulip dress. And do you know what? I don't know if this is pinker than the other one that I tried on. I feel like it wasn't as pink, the other one. Maybe it had been out for a while. But anyway, this is a beautiful 100% cotton uh, Oscar de la Renta dress. Beautiful length, I know, I'm obsessed, but I love them and I feel incredible in dresses and so it just gets me super excited um, <laughs> buying dresses, but yeah, I love it, absolutely love it. Cute length, really, really like wearable, versatile, super good when it's like warmer because these straps are just unreal. Like the bows at the back are such a gorgeous detail. Two very gorgeous dresses. For me to take on my travels with me. The one thing I'll say about Oscar de la Renta is their stuff is beautiful. They do need to work on their sizing because I'm going to have to eventually have this tailored um, because there is some fabric in here 
that can definitely be taken out and I just find their sizing and getting hold of sizes and everything is very very confusing so yes but this is the tulip print dress with the bows at the back very gorgeous I'm not going to try the jumper on because you'll probably see me wearing it somewhere anyway um but I love it is it fleecy lined oh it's fleecy lined anyway I'm going to get into some comfies now because um I've got packing to do good morning everyone it is what day is it no idea I have no idea um <laughs> but today we are off to Ibiza and it is my first hair wash day since my cut with Michael Van Clark and I used the three minute no three more inches um, pre-wash treatment and my hair obviously post cut is going to feel incredible anyway but wow it feels so good so I'm going to get a very small amount of makeup on my face um, because we are obviously flying we're heading to Ibiza we're going to be staying at the six senses which is somewhere that we have wanted to stay for a while and we're going to be attending the um, intelligent change summit which I think is going to be very, very interesting. Um, it's basically organised by the founders of the Five Minute Journal, Mimi and Alex Icon, and I mean, they're OGs in the online space. They have podcasts, they have so many successful businesses, and um, I guess this is kind of like one of those summits and um, almost like retreats, which is focused really holistically. So there's a focus on well-being, there's a focus on like health and exercise, there's a focus on performance in terms of like business, um, there's workshops on writing books, there's workshops on intimacy, there's hikes, there's morning sea dips, there's lots and lots of things that um, I know I have put down as like my favourite things to do in terms of like I want to do them. Um, there's bodyism classes, there's yoga classes, um, there's like round table talks, there's concerts as well. This is one of the things that hugely piqued our interest, but one of our favourite classical pianists, Alexis French, is going to be performing there. And so even just that in itself, to have such an intimate um, concert is going to be pretty spectacular. Um, but also in one of our favourite places, at one of our favorite, well, one of our, we hope, favorite hotels. We've been there and we've spent time there, but we've never actually stayed. So it's going to be truly wonderful to experience it. We've sort of aligned on what it is that we want to do. There'll be workout classes that he wants to do that maybe I don't want to do. And then there'll be classes that we both want to do and that kind of thing. This is my outfit for the flight. Ignore the clip. Um, I've got a silk, lily silk shirt dress on and my Philo Sophie cardigan. Um, I always feel way more comfortable traveling in dresses. Um, even on long haul flights, I find it so much easier to like put my pajamas on underneath them and then take them off. It's just such a more convenient way to travel and I'm super, super comfortable. But anyway, our car is here. So I'm gonna take down my suitcases. I'm using my new Globetrotter um, carry-on, which complements the outfit beautifully. <laughs> and we're ready to go. We have arrived. We have arrived at Six Senses and I wanted to give you a quick tour of the room. It's been an eventful journey here. We thought our luggage hadn't arrived, but oh, all is fine. And we've already met so many interesting people. It's been such a lovely, a lovely experience so far, but we've just checked in and we have just arrived at our room. So just for reference, our room is 507 that we're staying in. I think that might be quite helpful. But, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, this is just, so much better than I even expected. I've never seen what the rooms are like, but you walk through the hallway straight into Mr. Mill and Gordon wearing a hat that suits you. That's a hat that you need to get. Like yeah, yeah. Like that one does. Let's just spend this room tour perving over you. <laughs> so we have the um, his and hers things, and this is a lot of hers and his. So Ali will be very happy because he hates it when my stuff just miraculously spills over into his I'm side. Sure that you will manage to spill over. Yeah, I'm I'm confident that I can take up all of this with my stuff. Um, and then back here we have his and hers cupboards, which is going to be so useful because again, Ali and I. Oh yeah, I can do it like Lloyd Grossman 
the yeah. through the keyhole. You can, I can actually see it a lot clearer as yeah, well. Yeah, that's so helpful. Okay, so this is going to be my cupboard, I think, because I think I've got more space, um, even though you've got a more expensive, a, a more heavy suitcase. We've got robes, storage underneath flips. Yeah. And this is very, very lovely. And then obviously the tub, the, the main event in the middle of the room, which is just absolutely stunning. Shower in here and the toilet and a big mirror, so I'll be very happy to have this big shower. Lovely shower. Beautiful big shower. Complete, look amazing. Complete with shampoo, conditioner and shower gel. And then we have the throne, the royal throne which we don't necessarily need to see too much of. No. Big mirror, which is perfect. All of our stuff has obviously arrived, and I don't know how they did that. How did they know that this was my suitcase? It says nothing about- I told them. Oh, <laughs> you just ruined the bubble then. <laughs> I was like, there must be like. <laughs> anyway, this is the, the bed, nice big bed, which is obviously beautiful. I love this. Spunks on it. And spunky. Not from the previous people that stayed in here. <laughs> funky and this is the mascot and basically you can take this home with you but um you, there'll be a fee and it goes to the the hedgehog sanctuary that the six senses supports i think you should take spunky home nice touch and would love, they would love to destroy spunky they would love to destroy spunky so i think we should take him home we have a little welcome aperitif as well which Ooh, is lovely. lovely that does look nice actually yes that does look really oh it looks like um like all really healthy stuff. Good, good, good. Looks like the weekly schedule. We have the bar, which is obviously just, I think- That's a really nice. How beautiful is that? Bar. Really, really nice. I like the wood, the touches of leather. Yeah. What would you call the glass that's oh, piped like yeah, this? I know this, it's like- um, I love it. It's, it's very typical for like gentlemen's wardrobes, you know? I know it, but I don't know it. Somebody will help us out. But I love these leather tabs as well on here. Yeah, so it's effective. So nice. And then this is, this is the main event. This bit out here is the main event. And I don't actually know how we did it, but. How nice is that? Look at those views. Oh my goodness. Well, welcome. We're going to get ourselves uh, freshened up, unpacked. Yes. And we'll be making our way for the celebratory dinner this evening. I'm guessing so. Not the celebratory, the introductory. Introductory. I thought it called, they called it a celebratory. Ooh, is it a celebratory? Right, we are heading for the celebratory dinner. That is kind of like the get to know each other sort of dinner and just like the start of the entire summit. So really looking forward to this, looking forward to meeting more people. And my outfit is, if I can show you, which I blooming well can't. I've stolen the bag from the room and I'm wearing my Cortana silk and linen skirt with a Reese bodysuit and um, uh, sandals. I think I'm gonna take like a shirt or a cardigan or something um, just to pop over my shoulders. So this is the setting for dinner. This is what we've been looking out over. Um, I'm gonna try and talk over the lovely music that we're listening to over dinner, but everything is collapsing into this beautiful, beautiful dusky light. It's so gorgeous. So, as usual, I will give you a full rundown when we get back to the room, but for the most part, we've started on a really interesting topic. Um, there's been a few talks and poems already, and it's really kind of set the tone and made me understand a little bit more about what, um, what the goal is for the next few days. I'm already incredibly inspired, so much more than I actually thought I would be. I've already met some amazing people. I'm sat next to the loveliest couple on the table, so I'm gonna head back inside now and finish off my dinner. So we've just left dinner and we're heading for our first of what I'm imagining is going to be many, many different things that we're going to be doing over the next few days. And we're heading to, this is basically an intimacy talk. I hope you can hear me over the crickets. But um, yeah, this is like a talk on inti intimacy, which is something that I think I could definitely benefit from in terms of, I'm quite a reserved person. Um, so I think this is going to be very interesting. I'm gonna head down there now, it's in the sea caves. So it should be very, very lovely. We have a huge brain, right? And this brain has changed then overwritten quite some things. But what I've just explained about the three stages of our, of our let's, autonomic nervous system has one thing that we'll finish with on that topic of anthropology, which is hybrid system. Mm -hmm. To have 
sex in a way where you're going to come into this co-regulating space. Which, by the way, I'm going to add one more thing here too. When you're there, you're going to have an increase, a huge increase of neuroplasticity. I know you've heard this word. We're going to have an increase of your brain reinforcing connection already there, creating new connection that were not there before. Now, these two things create the sense of belonging. The more you have meaningful sex with someone face to face, kissing them, smelling them, licking them, the more you feel you belong to that unit. This is not just an emotion at this point, this is even inside yourself, inside your brain, you're building the network to recognize this. Mm -hmm. And I find this quite fascinating because, you know, we realize in a relationship we go up and down, mm -hmm. and one of the things you can reclaim, that's quite easy and quite nice, <coughs> if you watch your partner, whoever you want, is that when things are a bit <coughs> iffy, approach someone that you love, look at them, maybe not your kids, but your wife or your partner, and give them a kiss like a French kiss like you used to give a kiss in your 50s. Right? And without intent of sex, literally coming in, this will mean more to you, to your nervous system, to your heart, than anything else. Good morning, everyone. I'm sat with, oh, what was his name? I can't remember his name. Well, I'm sat with the hedgehog. We're up for our first full day here in Ibiza with Intelligent Change. So yesterday we had the celebratory dinner. Ali was right, it is the celebratory dinner. And we were sat with some really, really interesting people. It was so lovely. And um, we then finished dinner. There were a few talks. There was the most incredible poem by this lady called Ali. And I have found her Instagram, so I'll link it down below. She's an incredible poet. And, and basically, they started off with making us think about death, but not fearing death, almost understanding it in the sense of using it as the ultimate form of gratitude. Because if you're conscious of death, and this sounds really morbid, but if you're conscious of death, if you're ignoring death, you're essentially ignoring living because you have to understand how long you have left on this earth to fully live life to the full. So we kind of went through the motions, we calculated essentially how many years we have left, thought about the things that we wanted our life to look like in the run up to that, like what do we want to achieve? And what are the things that are important to us? Where should we refocus? And it was really, really, really interesting. Um, and the poem that Ali read was about death and it was incredibly moving. Um, she told us about a story about where she met somebody who opened a natural birthing centre and then down the road essentially opened a sort of like, I don't even know the word that she used, but it was sort of like a therapeutic death centre. So it was the two polar opposites and it was just a very, <laughs> Hallie just tripped up the steps, it was just a very, very... Um, so thought provoking and amazing and we had dinner and we chatted i didn't have any wine which was actually it was difficult to begin with because everybody was drinking wine and i was like oh i feel like i'm like not participating and then once i got over that because i knew that i was here for a reason and i knew not that i've got an alcohol problem but first of all i want to leave here feeling energized well rested and um inspired but it was a good test for me. And I didn't, by the end of the night, I was like, I'm so glad I didn't have any wine. We've had a little bit of um, a lay in this morning. We were gonna get up and shoot, but it turns out we were absolutely pooped from the journey over here. So we had a little bit of a lay in. We're now getting ready because we're gonna be doing the Sanctum hike today, which apparently sounds incredible. That's what they've been telling us at the Sanctum hike. Now we may not get on this because they're doing two of them and there's only 90 to 80 to 90 people that are allowed to do it. So we need to get there early. It's a two hour hike. I'm gonna experience it and tell you about it. But so far, I'm really enjoying myself. I think this is gonna be a real, like, a bit of a journey for me because a lot of the things that we've been thinking about is the things that hold us back. And I know that a lot of, like, my self doubt and, like, insecurities that I have, especially in, like, social settings, I'm very, very shy um, in any of, in the whole thing that we've done so far, I've been quite shy. And these are things that I probably need to confront about myself. I need to look at my confidence um, and just start on the journey to like freedom. But anyway, I'm gonna get myself sort of um, looking a little bit presentable. I'm not really gonna, I think I might put some mascara on and that's about it. I've got um, the Pie British Summertime sun cream on my face. And then I've got the Shantakai, uh, the new one, the spray, it's amazing. Bit sticky, bit sticky, but I love the smell. 
very subtle and so easy to apply. But anyway, I'm gonna get myself ready, get my hiking gear on, get out in the sunshine. Oh. Okay, we completely ran out of time in the hotel room, but I thought I would give you a quick rundown of my outfit. Um, I've got my Adenola crop top on. This is one of the black ones. I've stolen Ali's Mr. Porter. What do you call this? I just think it's called like a running vest. A running vest. So it's probably gonna be completely useless on a hike, but we move. Um, and I've got my favorite Gymshark shorts on, which you can just about see. And then, APL trainers which are probably going to get ruined but I love them so much that we're just going to go with it. Sunglasses, Celine. Okay, we've just rocked up at the Sanctum Hike and we've been given headphones. So this is supposed to be a really, really interesting experience. This is one of the things that they suggested that we do and I think it's going to be quite like immersive but also transportative. So, looking forward to it. Well, if you can't tell, I'm absolutely beaming. We just finished up the Sanctum hike and that's my first time ever doing any kind of like Sanctum class. When I tell you that was absolutely incredible, I think they're gonna be opening up in London, probably not doing hikes, but um, it was basically like, it was such a fascinating concept because it was like, you essentially start off doing a hike, it kind of warms you up, you've got headphones on, so the headphones really kind of, it almost like separates you from the people around you. And then you're, you've got the guy who's leading the class in your ear, but you've also got really motivational music, you've got, um, like it's like really building up like your energy. Then we stopped by the water and we did um, a workout, which was incredible. Um, but the thing that, that was really important about it is that, as you know, I'm quite like a perfectionist and I don't feel necessarily res restricted in everything like about me when it comes to being a perfectionist. I actually find it very motivating. I find it very liberating, but there are just some elements of it in my personality where I'm like, it definitely holds me back. And I think that that's where it, when it comes to like social, social things. So it kind of like, I started off like a little mouse, like not wanting to be too wild or anything like that. And then um, as you kind of relax into the class and like relax into the movements, you basically just let go. And I was like, woohoo, like everyone was like whooping and having a great time. And it was just so good. So, so good. And the guys are amazing. So like, just so <laughs> motivating. And it was just really wonderful. Such a great group of people. And then we did a little bit more of a hike. I would love to do it again tomorrow, but at the end I got cramp in my arms. So I think I need to put some like salts and electrolytes back into my body. We're gonna try and find a smoothie. If you remember from when we came here like a few years ago, I loved the glow water here. I love it. So I just wanna get myself a big tumbler of glow water. And quite honestly, I'm feeling amazing, but I would love to do some more today, do some more, maybe some yoga or something like that to stretch out my body. Just do some bits and pieces like that. But we're in the main area of um, the main kind of food and drink area of Six Senses. It is spectacular. It has that perfect like blend of by the water in the cliff edge. You've got the, you've got the, if you can see out there, I don't know if you can, I'll have to show you in a, in a bit, but there's like all of the, the, the rocks and the cliff edges just out there. It's kind of blended with the agriturismo side of Ibiza. So lots of stuff are grown on site. There's lots of fresh fruit, vegetables. It's all very holistic. And this is the perfect place for this kind of like conference, retreat, that kind of thing. I am so red in the face right now. So I am definitely going to <laughs> let myself cool down a little bit, get myself some food and drink. But as you can tell, I am absolutely wired. I am loving this so much. I'm so glad I didn't drink last night because I'm really feeling like totally, totally energized. So yeah, anyway, good vibes. I am the world's biggest drinks hoarder. I've got some melon juice, finished off my water, ginger. And now I'm having the real bulletproof co coffee but, and I've never had this before yeah, it was, um... so we're just having a little bit of an explore of the grounds and we came here and this was not really in use but now they're using this as kind of like a beach bed area on the rocks which I absolutely love I love the beds they look so comfortable oh, yes 
And these are the kinds of views that you can expect at the Six Senses. Absolutely stunning. And there's a little jetty just down here that you can get into the water. And I think that's what we're gonna do at some point, go for an early morning sea swim. But we've just been filming on these rocks here and absolutely incredible. I've been, I just feel so alive. And I'm like probably burnt to a crisp, even though I've got my sun cream on. <laughs> I'm living my best life. Oh my goodness, I am in my idea of heaven. Everything is like heirloom vegetables, but marinated in the most beautiful sauces. We've got um, heirloom carrots, heirloom pumpkin roasted with pesto. We've got cauliflower with um, peanut butter or almond butter, tuna, parsnips. Oh my God, like my mouth is just literally like watering watching this. It's just so good. to the Six Senses Spa, which is actually hidden down here for the hot and cold therapy, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm hoping it will help with my legs. <laughs> this is what the spa looks like, complete with beautiful candles, lots of lovely lights. I think I'm in the right attire, which is good. Ah, amazing. I've been wanting to try this brand. I have to pick some things up. Yeah, this is the one. I think the P50 solution. Yeah, definitely gonna have to pick some of that up. Well, <laughs> I'm perching here because Ali is um, filming outside, but um, I'm actually looking a lot better presented than I was about half an hour ago. Um, so I wasn't really able to film anything because there were so many people there and it was all quite like intense and wet. But we did the hot and cold therapy and my goodness, which the funny thing is about it is I actually struggled with the hot therapy more than the cold. Um, the hot was intense and I struggled and I'm proud of myself for making it through, but um, the cold therapy was so invigorating, like my skin tingled. We also did breath work, which was the most bizarre experience. I got like pins and needles in my feet and in my hands. I'm guessing that's a sign that I need to improve on my breathing. We've been by the pool for a couple of hours um, and there are some talks going on now, but content creators have to create content. So um, we're gonna go and get some shots just around. And then tonight is the night that I've been so excited for. Um, because we're actually getting a private concert with Alexis French, which I I don't even know how to put it into words. I'm so excited. You will know that I am such a classical music lover, and I'm. They've seen. I've watched them tuning the piano all day, and it's just wonderful. But for the most part, what an amazing end to the day to um, get a concert from Alexis French. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. And like I said, the food has been amazing. The people are amazing. It's just been really good. Um, I'm not even bothering to do my hair today. I've gone for a bun and I'm hoping to wear this dress. This is the Ely Saab dress. I'm hoping we're gonna be able to get it done up. I'm hoping, I'm hopeful. Posi vibes. Okay, we're about ready for the concert, but we've just come out to shoot some pictures of my outfit and I had to show you the dress. This is my Ely Saab dress. We finally got it done up. I did it myself as well. So living my best life, but I've also not done my hair because I think we're going to do a sea swim in the morning. So anyway, let's go for dinner. What about you? Can I come down to the stage? What's your name? My name is Marie. Marie. Okay, perfect. And so we've got the hay in there. Okay. So I'm going to direct. I'm going to direct. I think we stand for this section. Let's stand. And then we've got the A, B, C, D section over here, and then we're going to get into some music. Um...
the most beautiful sunset after the most beautiful concert. I'm lost for words at the moment and I will literally cry if I talk about it. So I'm gonna go and have dinner and I will let you look at the sunrise, uh, the sunset instead because that was amazing. Oh, good morning, everyone. I'm looking a little bit pink. Um, just after two hours in the sun and it wasn't even like the hottest day or anything. So it's actually perfect to be out in the sun. Actually, it's such a lie because we, we did the hike and so I was out in the sun for ages and I probably didn't reapply, but yes, a little bit pink, um, but I'm up and ready for day, sort of full day two here at the Intelligent Change Summit. Last night was quite surreal. Um, obviously sat a few feet away from Alexis French was such an incredible experience. Um, I obviously did my absolute best to not get my camera out and my phone out and to just just be immersed in it because that really was one of those once in a lifetime moments and I think that over the next few years you're probably going to see Alexis French become one of the most notable British classical artists in the space. He is incredible. He was telling us that basically he learnt to play the piano um, without a piano. So he learnt by understanding where the keys were and understanding how the keys would sound and that is how he taught himself to play the piano and then a year later he, he had a upright piano delivered to his house when he was a, a child and he the moment that he struck one of the chords he learnt that he was essentially pitch perfect and he could hear music and see music like as he's playing it so he can see it in his in front of his like eyes so he's very like immersed in the music when he's playing and he's not even looking at the keys it's just one of the most beautiful things i think i've ever witnessed and yeah i mean i'm sure you've already heard of alexis french but a lot of people that we were speaking to last night they were like oh i, I think i've heard like one of the songs i definitely knew and a lot of the time ali and i were saying that his music is often at the very top of um, Instagram's suggested tracks to use, which I was so shocked to see that he's got 30,000 followers. I imagined that he would have like millions because the amount that people actually use his music online is phenomenal, but maybe they don't even know who he is, but he is such a talent and one of the most calming and just endearing characters I think I've ever witnessed in concert before. It was wonderful, I think he's just gone straight to the top of my favourite classical artists. The fact that he's British as well is like just such a, a incredible thing. And then we had dinner and I, I don't know whether, I don't know how this vlog is going at the moment because I definitely feel like I'm sort of leaning into the social element of this so much more that I'm not necessarily getting my camera out to film everything. Like last night I was speaking to Jess and Jess is um, a UK like health and, and yoga and fitness influencer who I've heard a lot about, we have a mutual friend. And we were literally like just talking all night. <laughs> and that was so nice for me because you'll know, I'm a little bit awkward in these situations usually. So for me to just be immersing myself socially has been definitely, um, it's definitely a step outside of my comfort zone, but it's so nice because I, I feel like a lot of people are in the same situation where some people are here by themselves, they're here, um, to network so it's it's very much like a fluid thing and you're you're just sort of talking to everyone and anyone you'll be sat there and someone from another table will just come over and sit with you and you'll start learning about them we spoke to a, a gentleman last night who owns um one of the most fascinating businesses i think that we've come across since we've been here um which is basically it's essentially a supplement but this supplement um is it's like a cell regenerate regenerative cell supplement it's called timeline the website is so slick so fascinating um its skincare is developed in uh switzerland and its supplements are developed in the us and um hugely hugely interesting i could have listened to him for hours it was really really fascinating and then you'll be talking to another person who's like you know, written a book about mental and physical health and there's chapters in your in his book where he's basically able to like help with ailments that we have and it's just fascinating, like so, so fascinating. Today, one of the talks that I really want to, I, I do want to try and get to is um, there's a, a talk with Arizona Muse who owns the charity Dirty 
or dirt, dirty, dirt. They're going to like a local farm to look at the, the soils and the produce and her charity basically delivers healthy soils to like around the globe and is really sort of focused on soil preservation, soil health and, and the development of that. Um, it's a long one, but I would like to try and get to that, but I think I would be going on my own to that one. So um, if I, that would be definitely a step outside my comfort zone. But today we're about to get ready and go down to breakfast. I'm wearing a Gymshark two-piece. I'm wearing, it's like a green sort of ombre one. Um, I don't actually have a lot of shorts in my gym attire, it's something that I've realized. So I only have two pairs with me, which has actually worked out well because we've got two full days here. But yes, that's one of the things that I want to do today. I think Ali's going to see a guy about his shoulder, which the only thing that is worrying me is that I think I need to go to see someone about my shoulder because I think I gave it a little bit too much <laughs> at the uh, uh, Sanctum hike yesterday and I'm, I've, I've hurt my shoulder. Not a bad thing, hopefully, but maybe it'll ease up. But yes, I've, I've got a very sore shoulder. I can't actually lift my shoulder like above there at the moment. So um, yes, it's painful. But really, really enjoying it so far. And the thing that I didn't show you yesterday, the, the hot and cold therapy was just unreal. Absolutely unreal. I really wish that there was more places in the UK that aren't necessarily concentrated in like London and things like that where uh, hot and cold therapy is something that you can go and do more regularly because I would love that. But anyway, I am going to head down for breakfast. I'm going to get myself a bulletproof coffee because I really enjoyed my one yesterday and head about my day. So we've just had breakfast and I think I've decided I'm definitely going to the farm excursion. I think it's going to be really good. But that's not until two and I can't do, I can't honestly do anything with my shoulder. So we're going to go and lay by the pool and hopefully by tomorrow I'll be able to do one of the bodyism classes because I want to try one of those but with this shoulder I just can't. <laughs> so we're going to go by the pool. I'm wearing a Arabella London bikini. This is one of my favourite bikinis ever. And then over the top I have popped a Beaufort and Blake shirt. Then I've got the basket bag from the room with a vintage Hermes scarf. Sunny's Arceline. And ready to go. And that nose is a very pink schnoot. Schnoodaline. I think my favourite thing about this hotel is, other than the exceptional views, is all of the beautiful vegetation. They put so much effort into their gardens and flowers here that always look so incredibly lovely. Do I yeah. just grab it? it? Like a little bit like this, and just like that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you didn't catch that, we have just arrived to Terra Masia, which is an organic farm here in Ibiza, and Arizona has told us that we are going to be essentially tasting some of the soil that she's bought from the six senses because it is basically enriched with so many different microorganisms that are gonna match and play with and kind of, um, intersperse with the organisms that are already in our gut so as far as i'm concerned we're not supposed to put this in our mouth but i love that we're changing that right now so i can't believe i've done that <laughs> my goodness this is so beautiful there's fields and fields of roses i was not expecting this at all so we're going to be um, exploring with this wonderful very small group which i'm kind of happy about oh my gosh the gardens <laughs> wow this is so inspiring i didn't even know this place existed all of the erigeron borders here <gasps> i am in my absolute element lemongrass oh my god so we're going to be visiting two different farms today and this is the first one if i have any mud on my lips i apologize but i kind of like that <laughs> Are you coming with us, little one? Hello. Hello, you are so beautiful. 
beautiful. I've never met an Ibiza chicken. Oh, hello to you too. Hello. So we're currently in the lemon groves and it smells just like my greenhouse, although I think my wish, well, I wish my greenhouse smelled like this at the moment because there are thousands and thousands of lemons here. So this is one of the um, talks and excursions that you can do as part of the Intelligent Change Summit. And I knew the moment that I saw this that I wanted to do it. So this is very, very exciting for me. The orchard is terra preta to the soil. And I show you now what, what the unbelievable effect to it is. Look oh at this. God. Wow. Look at this fertile soil. That's Look how amazing. the roots, wow. the roots are working here. You find little animals inside. Your work is well like that. You are doing with the passion. Since we change the way of, of uh, that we do, only I've never eaten so much soil in my life. My lips are probably covered in dirt, but it's been a very whistle-stop trip here. Um, I believe this is somewhere that you can actually come um, during the week if you are in Ibiza and experience it for, for yourself. Um, I'm loving that it's a bit of a whistle-stop as well because naturally in these places I often feel a lot of pressure to create a lot of content, to shoot outfits, but it's so nice when it's sort of quick like this because it means I have no choice but to be completely immersed in it and the fact that I've come here with no makeup on and my comfiest outfit and Ali's just told me I need to come and see all of the chickens. Hello! Hello ladies! Oh my good ladies and gentlemen! You're coming to say hello! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, so many of you, you're coming over! <laughs> oh my goodness me! You are so beautiful! Gosh, this is amazing! Hello, smallies. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness! Look at the dog. The dog is looking after them. Oh. Okay, we are now at another farm, and this is called Juntos, which means together in Spanish. And we don't have a lot of time at these places, which is like killing me. But I think this is going to be super, super interesting. So I'm going to film whatever I can. So you might wonder why do we start a conversation about supply chain uh, with a fire on a warm day like this and with a smudge stick like this, what is this? Is it cultural appropriation? Is it inappropriate? This is not what we should be doing. <laughs> but it started from, for me and it started with an experience in nature uh, with a fire and uh, smudge sticks and uh, a process to, to help us reconnect. And I put my hand on the ground and I could feel the energy and the frequency and all the little... Years later, they came out with this uh, research from Canada where they really shown that trees are sentient and they have families and they have relatives and so does bushes and so does plants and everything in nature is alive. Perfect. <laughs> now, as we did at Terra Masia, let's finish this time on this land with a blessing. So close your eyes again. We are on land. One more time. It's the same earth that we were standing on before. Let's bring our consciousness to these little beings who live below us in the big energy of our earth, to the bigger body of energy that supports us all. Hallelujah. You can open our eyes again. Thank you. Thank you. look at the state of me. I feel like I have literally succumbed to um, all of the influence of this conference. I feel like everyone walks around with really beautiful like natural hair and not wearing, it, wearing any makeup except my hair doubles to about um, the size of a lion's mane. <laughs> look at it, it's ridiculous. Um, sleek bun tonight I think but I've just devoured some nuts and a smoothie and I'm about to get ready for the last night here in Ibiza with um, Intelligent Change. I feel like I've, so you can hear Ali in the shower, but I feel like I've really let go into this and done lots of things that maybe I wouldn't have done. And um, really sort of immersed myself in 
lots of things I've never done before. We spent the most part of the day doing the farm tours and I loved it. I just wish that it was a little bit longer. Like we, it felt like we were maybe traveling for more than we were actually like experiencing the farms. I think we had like 10 minutes in each farm, which was like, I can't take myself seriously. Sorry, this is, like, <laughs> this is me in my natural state. Little bit pink. And basically they were talking about how the current sort of like farming systems are not regenerating the soil. And so there's like a big movement at the moment where people are starting to farm for the health of the soil and things like that. And I think the, I, I really wanted to ask at the end, but I didn't have enough time was that I wanted to know what we can be doing in our own gardens to help the like regeneration of the soils in the in the UK or around the world or wherever we're watching so that we're not just regenerating the like farm soils but also helping like the soils where we live and um, just helping the health of those just so that we're all kind of on the same page I guess I don't know definitely did some things that I didn't think I would ever do like eating soil and a carrot direct from the soil that hasn't like been washed or anything like that um, and jumping in the sea um, and staying downstairs by the pool with a group of girls that like I've never met before and eating lunch with them like that's definitely like on my own as well Ali had left me so yeah lots of different experiences and I have thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it so tonight we have dinner um, here at the hotel and there's going to be a fire ceremony and then we have the last sort of morning tomorrow where I think we can do a few classes or something like that but that's the only thing that's really frustrated me is these problems with my shoulder like I just oh oh that really hurt <laughs> yeah so I've not really been able to do any other physical exercise since I did the sanctum class and it was not because of them it's just mainly because of I just overdid it and had too much fun which is not a bad thing so if I'm feeling better if my shoulder feels better it may be because the bed's a little bit firmer quite a lot firmer than our bed at home as well and I'm a side sleeper so that may have impacted it as well but yeah I even as we walked back into the hotel there was they have these stools set up from local people who produce products like CBD rubs and like face creams and teas on the island and they told me to go and find the person that has the cbd rug rub and he was like oh we've also got a face mask and i'm like just there putting like a clay face mask on because i've got no makeup on and it was just one of those opportunities very spontaneous but yeah so anyway i'm gonna get myself ready for the last night i've got two dresses to choose from my tory birch one or my karen millen collection one from last year which went online again this year so yeah very tough decisions but all, all in all a really really wonderful day the food has just been incredible. Like I've had the most lovely smoothie. I've been eating more nuts. Like I, I haven't really, I don't think I've consumed any like processed sugar since I've been here. Even last night's dessert was like pure um, natural like cacao. So yeah, I don't know. I just feel very, very good. Very, very rejuvenated. Good to have got some sun on my skin as well and just meet so many interesting people. I think that's been really, really key. So yes, my turn to jump in the shower now, so I will chat to you in a bit. Okay, outfit for the last evening here in Ibiza, and considering I fly home tomorrow, and I then straight away fly to Mallorca for my Karen Millen shoot, I thought it was perfect that I would wear my favourite Karen Millen dress, which is my floor-length linen notch neck dress. Love it, and I just always feel so lovely in it. It's perfect kind of Ibiza vibes if you like that more tailored look, but still enjoy the, the look and feel of a more relaxed linen. I've got, and there's sandals, although I think I might change these for my um, Valentino rock studs because I feel a bit frumpy in them, and little mini Kelly. Oh, and my twilly, not twilly, my scarf that I bought, the little handkerchief one. A little touch of orange. A little touch of orange. Perfect. Very beautiful. Just catching sunset down by the rocks. It is so calm and peaceful down here.
Good morning everyone. Today is the day that we are leaving and I'm pretty much heading straight to Mallorca from here. Um, and I am still a little bit pink. Um, I'm guessing this is because I was like sweating in the sun and things like that, but fully just hoping it goes brown and um, that's my base tan for summer because it has been a very cold March and April and apparently back in England it's been beautiful. But I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a lowdown before we left um, and give you my like honest thoughts on things like uh, on the Intelligent Change uh, Summit. So I definitely think it's a space that you would come to if you were maybe like um, an entrepreneur, you have like a product and you're looking to network with people, maybe find investors, maybe find people to collaborate with, maybe look looking for like people that specialize in e-commerce or maybe specialize in influencing or whatever there's a really diverse pool of people here but you're also on that same sort of self-development um self-discovery kind of journey as well um it's a very very positive space it's a very inspiring space and a lot of the the classes and talks that we've taken have kind of exceeded our expectations in terms of like we didn't really know what to expect and when we well, you kind of have like a, a preconception and then when you're there, it's like completely different. So much more incredible, so much more um, enlightening and inspiring. There are so many things that I want to take home into like my my everyday life. But definitely like more exercise in my everyday life. That's something that I really want to... I know that I do a lot of walking and I have my PT twice a week, but somehow doing more of like those sort of mini workouts, like 20 minute workouts and um, just fitting those in to make me feel good, not looking to like lose weight or anything like that, just feel good. Hot and cold therapy is something that is fascinating to me now. I definitely want to look more into um, doing some of that at home. Breath work, I think is something that this is gonna be, be like a huge journey for me, 100%. I definitely want to do more of that as well. It's definitely been a, a very eye-opening experience for Ali and I as well, because I think that Ali and I are quite like, there's a lot of like Canadians and Americans and and like a lot of them here which has been so amazing for us meeting different people from different parts of the world it's definitely highlighted to Ali and I how we're quite reserved as people and it's definitely pushed my comfort zones and pushed me into spaces where um, I've definitely pushed my comfort zone like girls and actually like making friends here like I genuinely feel like I've like made a new friend since being here as well which is something that doesn't always come that easy to me as well. Um, going and doing things without Ali on my own, big, big steps for me because I'm I'm quite a, like, I think I'm quite a shy person. I don't know whether it's because there's such big characters here, but I think maybe I'm having to understand that in some settings, I'm quite a shy person. And so it's, I've learned so much about myself as well. And the lovely thing as well is that Mimi actually picked a lot of, there's these been these affirmation cards that have been left on our uh, table settings at dinner. And Mimi actually picked those for each individual person. And we filled out a lot of like forms and things like that beforehand. And it was like, she was literally speaking to me. I was like, oh yeah, okay, you get me. <laughs> a lot of my people pleasing traits um, are things that I think I have to go on a bit of a journey with um, because that's definitely been highlighted to me in this in that I hold myself back quite a lot socially because I think it's just, you know, it's just become part of who I am now. And so, yeah, for me and Ali, it's definitely been more of like a sort of learning journey through meeting the people here and speaking to the people. Um, obviously not so much in like a, we haven't necessarily come here with like business agendas or networking agendas, more so just, just to learn from people and just to experience other people and experience this really kind of open and fluid um, network of people and it's been wonderful. In a hundred percent I would uh, recommend this experience to businesses as well. There's one really lovely girl that I met here who had actually been sent here by her boss. She works incredibly hard in, what was it, something capital, venture capital and she's like I don't really have like a life balance and my my employer actually paid for me to come on this trip because they thought it would be good for me in terms of like a taking some time out but also meeting new people um getting a new perspective blah blah blah, blah. and so it's also that kind of thing as well where you're in an amazing space like you're in the six senses in ibiza like the most beautiful place on the island and whilst we haven't experienced the entire six senses we haven't had the full experience of like if guests would stay here 
I would 110% book to come back here and stay. The rooms are perfect. They're not so like palatial and extravagant that you feel almost tethered to your room, but there's just so much to see. There's the rocks that you can go and sunbathe on. It's a really special place. So I'm gonna leave this here. I've spoken to you for eight minutes. I'm pro I'm, there's probably been a lot of information me talking and maybe not so much showing you. That is because I have wanted to fully immerse myself in this and a lot of the things have been difficult for me to show you. But um, immersing myself fully in this was really important for me because this is an opportunity of a lifetime to do this. I'm here with some of the most well-respected people. There's Wrong and Chatterjee, someone who I've read his book. There's obviously Alexis French. There's Arizona Muse. There's incredible, incredible people here and this is not an opportunity that is likely to come around very often but anyway i'm going to pack up the last of my bits i'm going to jump on my plane and head to my next destination